What's up, nerds? Welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. As you guys can see, I just got this new microphone arm, so hopefully my audio quality is better. I also, as you guys already know, I have a Slack channel where I post legal problems, but we're going to be doing a monthly challenge with a cash prize. So if you guys are not already in the uh, Slack channel, join. The link is in the description below. So I'll be posting problems um, weekly, and then I'll add up all the points for everyone. And whoever's the winner, I'll give a cash prize to. So the only requirement is that you are in the channel and that you are subscribed. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. And now let's get to the problem. So, oh, whoops. I've been learning into a lot of problems with OBS. So let's keep going. This actually cut out on me halfway through last time. So this is a re-recording. Given a binary tree, collect a tree's nodes as if you were doing this. Collect and remove all leaves. Repeat until the tree is empty. So if we're given a tree, one, two, three, four, five, um, they want us to basically uh, take off the layer of leaves one at a time. So the levels of leaves and insert them into a matrix and return that 2D matrix. So four, five, three are the outer layer or the last level, um, zero level. So they're the zeroth index of the 2D uh, array. And two is if you, so if we were to move four, five, and three, as in this case, um, two is the next leaf. So we would put it into the first index. And then finally one is the root. So we would put it at the last, whereas the um, second index. So let's go over this. Um, I like to call them levels because that's just how I think of it. So this is the zeroth level, first level, second level. So obviously we're going to need to return something when we hit a null node. So over yonder, um, we're just gonna return negative one. So let's remember that. And then how do we calculate this value for one? Well, where do we get that from? It is the max of its subtrees. So the max of how many, like what's the max children it has? So in this case, it's the left subtree. It has two children versus one children. So that's how we're going to basically solve this problem. So now let's try to code it out and figure it out as we go. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing is we know we need to return or we're going to need a list, a list of integers. So let's go ahead and create one. And I'm going to call that answer equals new array list. And then the base case. I always like to think of the base case. So if root equals null, then we can just return answer as it is, which if it's empty. So it that's the correct answer. And then I just want to be able to return answer because that's what we're going to be returning in the end. So I'm going to write a function and I'm going to call it level because I think of these as levels to a tree, have whatever you want to call it, whatever floats your boat. So let's pass it root and answer, and that's all we're going to need. And now let's write our function. So this function is going to fill in our answer 2D matrix, and it's going to calculate the levels. So um, public integer level. Sorry, it's hard to code and talk at the same time sometimes. So list of list of integers and so there we go. Okay. So this is going to calculate the level that each um, node is at, but it's also at the same time, it's going to insert those nodes into the answer array that we need to return up here. So that's why we pass it into here. It's calculating each level. We're going to recursively call it because it's a tree. Um, so we're going to use recursion. Um, so the first case is if the root is null, so the base case. Well, what did I say earlier? If it's null, we're going to want to return negative one to re signify that it is null. So there we go. And now let's calculate the level. So the level is, remember how I said we need to calculate the max of, of this node? So the max of the subtrees. So let's go ahead and write that out math.max of level um, root 
So root, we're going to, this is where the recursion comes in play. So we do root dot left, answer, and level root dot right, answer. And then we need to add one. What is the one signify? Um, so one signifies each recursive call. So if we didn't have one, we'd just be returning negative one. That's all we'd get. But when we add one, it's basically saying add one each time we call the function. So so if we start here, we have to call the function this time, one, two, two times. So that's what it's going to return. Um, so that's why we add the one. And then we, so now that we have the level, we want to check to see if the 2D matrix has that, that level. So if our answer is a 2D matrix, let's draw it out real quick. So we know it's a 2D matrix. Um, right now it's empty. So if let's check to see if it has that level. So if answer dot size is less than or equal to level, then we're going to put in an empty array where we can put the value of the um, node that we're calculating the level of. So answer, oops. Answer, add, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. Okay. So now we have the, we basically inserted an empty array. Um, so basically this is the first one that's going to execute. Uh, and now we want to actually insert that value at its level. So how do we do that? We have to grab the level. So we're going to do answer dot get level dot add. And then we want to insert the val through root dot val. And finally, since this is an integer function, we want to return level. And so I'm going to go over this problem one more time because I might have gone over it fast. I've actually tried to record this like twice already. OBS sucks. OK, so there we have 100% runtime. <clears throat> Memory usage is not that good um, because of the recursive stack. So it's O of n space complexity. It's also O of n runtime just because we're going through every node same thing with the space so what is this function doing so we call it we're starting at the root um, it's going to go root dot left call it again level root dot left it's going to go left so basically it goes left and then it pops off because it sees negative one plus one so we get zero that's how we get zero because it returns negative one for four plus one so it's the max of negative one and negative one because they're both null. You just have to be able to picture the recursive stack. I think it takes a lot of um, practice, a lot of coding. So eventually you guys will get there. I, I know you will. Um, and then it'll pop off. It'll go to two and then it'll say, well, what's the max of two? Well, it's uh, <clears throat> zero and zero. Well, zero and zero plus one. So two is one. Well, actually, we had to go to five first, sorry. <clears throat> to cal we're calculating five first because it goes level root dot right, and then it's gonna go two, one, and then three. So that's how that problem works. It's just going to insert everything recursively. Um, hopefully it didn't make it more confusing. I feel like this, this problem's hard to explain. I hope I did a good job. If I did, leave me a comment in the section below and smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.